As a child, my Christmas was once cut short when my mum took the decorations down halfway through Christmas Day. David's team. Oh, right, this... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> was she always down on Christmas, or was... What um, happened this year? Well, this year in particular... Yeah. Just halfway through Christmas Day, she's like, I've had enough, we've done the presents... Have you done the lunch? Yeah, we've done lunch. So, so let's just... What, what was the time? 2.30. OK, so pre-Queen. Oh, we don't, <laughs> we don't do the Queen in my family. I'm so sorry, David. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't listen to the Queen? No. Yes. Did it, did oh. it become...? <laughs> I, I mean, I... she's the head of state. <laughs> Minutes a year, yeah. you know, and six and a half if you if you skip the bit with the trumpets. Was <laughs> it a great dramatic gesture, or was it sort of? It was quite dramatic because and did we. You, I mean, were the I mean the things were on the ceiling. And it was taking the tree down and putting a plastic tree back into a box. The stuff on the ceiling. Did she have to get? We a didn't ladder? have stuff on the ceiling. Oh, no. Well, you had no well, no tinsel yeah. light round the room. Oh, well, no. This was, oh, this was hardly a Christmas, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> You don't, you don't watch the Queen's speech. I expect you're having a pizza. <laughs> you're having a pizza and they, she put the fake tree away like an umbrella. <laughs> Fine, pop that away. This is, this is barely worth hearing about. <laughs> was, there, was there a specific incident that, uh, that um, set her off? She was very disappointed with me and my sisters because... In general. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I had got one present and um, I had not liked it. And so that was a bad point, and my sister Cheryl hadn't got out of bed yet. Now, tell us about your Christmas Day. I'm imagining there's a lot more structure to it. And respect is a word that, that's coming to my mind. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Rob. Oh, I don't know. I think I, I think I have quite a normal Christmas Day. I imagine uh, Bucks Fizz at 11. No, I we imagine... don't book a band. <laughs> So, David, what, are you, what is your team thinking? Could this be true? Yes, it's well, heartbreaking. Com completely rings true, I think. What do you think, Tom? Well, whatever I think would be wrong, so... Um... Well, that could be... If that's, if that's, that's 100%, that's yeah. very useful. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask her. What do you think, then? Well, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'd go with Tom, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've had an insight. Tom's had an insight. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think she's not telling the truth. Oh, what... Why, why do you think that? I don't know. It just came over me. Right. <laughs> I think she's telling the truth. But it's quite um, easy to know who to, who to side with here. Yeah. I literally sit at home all day watching Holmes Under the Hammer and you're next to a, a knight of the realm. Yeah, but mm. I'd go with him if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> true. true. True, you're saying it's true. Sarah. A, a tragic tale. A tragic Fact tale. Fact or fiction? This tale was true. <laughs> I told you, you see.